Welcome back to the fix, quick fix. That is it, boy. And I'm here with Ariane Javi. And you roll the eyes at me. Yeah. Sheesh. Quick fix time. Before we get into what quick fix is all about, Javi, please <clears throat> tell the people who it's brought to them by. Sure. Quick Fix is brought to you by Prism Marketing Consultants, the public relations and media platform catering to the Caribbean diaspora. Quick Fix is also brought to you by Stellar Printer Limited, providing stellar service for all your printing needs. They do white format, digital printing and offset printing, flexographic textbooks, magazines, brochures, flyers and customized stationery. Check out their website at StellarJM.com and follow them on Instagram at StellarJMLimited. Now, Quick Fix is a run-up of the news that we've missed in a week i'm sure you know by now so we're gonna get started bob marley's biopic trailer released so paramount pictures has unveiled the first te- teaser trailer for the highly anticipated biopic bob marley one love set to hit theaters january 12 2024 the film delves into the life and legacy of the iconic jamaican singer and songwriter with kingsley benadir known for his roles in peaky blinders and the oa portraying marley the trailer initially celebrates marley's musical genius showcasing him performing to adoring fans but gradually shifts to explore the tum- tumultuous background of Jamaica's civil unrest in the 1970s. Director Ronaldo Marcos Green confirmed that the film will primarily cover the periods 1976 to 1978, which will include the infamous attempted assassination of Bob Marley and wife Rita, the making of his iconic Exodus album, and his eventual return to Jamaica for the historic One Love Peace concert. So, how do we feel about the trailer? Are we excited? Did you I, see it? I, I, just, I want to start today. I love <laughs> that trailer. First of all, I, I have to give it up to Kingsley Ben Adair. I, you said Peaky Blinders and oh, I mean, I know them sure they. Well, I know of I know Peaky, Peaky Blinders. Blinders. I've never watched it, but um. <laughs> I I am aware of One Night in Miami where he played um I think it was Malcolm X. Um I think it was. Hold on, let me double get check. Right, get it right, get it right. Yes, it was Malcolm X. Malcolm X, he yes. played Malcolm X and he did such a phenomenal job in that movie. And to hear him speak, my my main concern, genuinely my main concern was going to be the accents. Mm-hmm. I was like, Jesus, are they gonna get Is it wrong? Gonna get Is it right? Is it gonna get wrong? But to to speak of the acting prowess of these jo- these British <laughs> actors, you know, who believe in the craft of acting they 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 spent the time on getting the accent right and if you if you look if you you know mm-hmm. like you squint a little bit little bit you can't see bob marley <laughs> you can't see a good bob young bob marley really? so it was good it was good I, i'm i'm celebrating it i'm excited for it i see that people were complaining you know like all oh, them still want a jamaican why shouldn't it be a jamaican I challenge everybody who have an issue with it. I want you all to buy buy a ticket because that's major complaint. And I always want a Jamaican and I want Jamaicans and I want Jamaican win the, the the album, the Grammy. But when you don't support them, where it it matters. So I want you all to buy it, buy it, like actually buy the, the ticket. Don't pirate it. Go to the movie theaters, watch, watch it, it, support it, and then they'll see that oh, there is a market. Oh, there is, and there are a few Jamaicans in it mm-hmm. um, who. who who play um you know our real life musical heroes in in this movie so i think before we bash it just see the trailer for what it is see the see for what it is celebrate it celebrate them actually get the accent right don't worry about them more skip on and 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 <laughs> steven and ziggy like no don't worry about that like let real life professional actors who've been doing this most of their lives who commit to the craft of acting play and do right by our legend bob marley true uh-huh. naro what do you think <laughs> why you look disappointed are you yeah i am <gasps> with why i'm disappointed in the stupid people that are still complaining <laughs> but i don't know why i should feel because i really expect not better from them i just have three words to say and then i'll add about 23 more 
Wow. I told you. I so, told you so. Four. Yeah, <laughs> I told you, people, based on the names attached to this project, that this looked like it it was going to turn out good. Where's Rins? And just be, uh, Rins can go sit down somewhere else. Right? I told her and I told the people yeah. that based on the names attached to this project, mm-hmm. this look like them are aim for an Oscar. Hmm. And I tend to not judge movies just based off trailers. Trailers, because trailers can be deceiving. They catch me enough time. Yeah, I mean, they catch enough time. Transformers mm-hmm. enough time. Catch me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But this trailer was an excellent trailer mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. The cinematography on mm-hmm. display alone mm-hmm. yeah, make Bob look like a mythical, legendary mm-hmm. figure that he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of them shot the glorious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The shot when I play ball alone, mm-hmm. say, Yo, they, they make them look like a god. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we just see them thing there, and it just justifies my feelings go, going into this. Yeah. When they announced who was going to again be attached to the project mm-hmm. i just feel justified the people them that still complain about skip and all these things shut up <laughs> just tap in the eyes now get over it we've been known say yo this brother ben's the king of deer was attached to this for some it's time king. i think yeah. it's kingsley i should get him name right for it because the man is yes. brilliant kingsley kingsley ben 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 i said it right didn't i no you said ben's ben's the king uh, ben's the king there oh you are confused <laughs> right. me yeah, yeah. now kingsley, kingsley. Ben yes ben there. right we've been known mm-hmm. so he's going to play the role of Bob. get over it yeah when them did announce say yo they wouldn't recast the child of a black panther me did vex because I'm like the right decision I think was to just recast the role mm-hmm. you know what I mean but them decide not to recast it me did vex so well, but then I got over it you know yeah, what I mean yeah. I but what the them do it do make sense a chance Mrs. said them give my girl the Black Panther you know no but you know she said him of him young king T'Challa Which said that is what spoiler she's... alert yeah. yeah right she was Black Panther him sister Shuri she never really lived up to that but yeah the movie was good overall mm-hmm. yeah I say that to say this. Enough time has passed when it can get over. When you see the trailer now, when you see the work, I'm hearing less and less people complain, but you still have those people look like them just want to complain for complaint's sake. I said, oh, they really get this man for playing this 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 American token man will have nothing. Not in, even do not, them research. No Caribbean <laughs> country. They don't even know nothing, jobs. Nothing. They really get a Marvel villain. We play Bob Marley. <laughs> oh God, they really get this token They're just actor doing all just of play this. Malcolm X when they could have gotten one of any one of of Bob Marley's seventy three grandchildren <laughs> and fifty odd <laughs> children that are all actors. All of them are actors. Oh, yeah. All of them. Shut up. Right? If you listen to social media, you believe all of them. If things. the family wanted that, they would have done that. The family is who is in charge of the film mm-hmm. they're well into the production process of if i know all of the family is damn near a good amount of them yeah yes it's in me yes it's in me yes it's in me that's cool huh? exactly. that's well. mm-hmm. like them not, because they're not going to involve that see, look how they're not going to involve that right and they involve so, it based on the trailer like that's a, a great trailer <laughs> i'd like to hear more of him speaking fuller that's, sentences that's what i was gonna say yeah the accent. yeah in other, in other trailers more phrases mm-hmm. but that's what i, mean, I said like it, the, the trailer tricky but mm-hmm. it's so good it's so, the it's little so that you heard so you want to like, say okay. go on. that is what i said me and me and wait for me more and see Jafiakan, yeah when i listen to it even without looking at it mm-hmm. in damn work could pass it's, the bomb sometimes it's so like a jamaican it, like when you hear him talk but as i said there's more phrases that you hear him say mm-hmm. on the trailer i'd like to hear him talk more full sentences mm-hmm. but separate and apart from that this movie looks like it's going to be good and it looks like the people them who work on this mm-hmm. put them art soul and effort into making sure that we honor one of the great musical legends yeah. of jamaica yeah and applause them just based on this trailer yeah shout out to naomi Cohen. Shout, shout out to other jamaicans who are working in this and acting in this movie. right yeah and shout out to the people them that actually understand what the music the, the music the <laughs> movie process the movie making process is, is all about yeah a lot of people just love complain tapping it 
Man, I got goosebumps I watching it. It bad. It <laughs> I look got like it's a good watching it. Yeah. And even Lashana for Azrita. Queen. Oh my god. Queen. Excited to see it. Queen. The the how him look like I was saying him kind of look more like a younger. One of the sons, yeah. not necessarily yeah. a younger Bob, yeah, but like a younger day. That's what I say. You can squint. You squint. That's mm-hmm. not like From my side of production, yeah. photos. Yeah. I said it's cool. It's alright. Yeah. Don't have to look like a dead. You know, you know, but, like exactly. Exactly. Yeah. but it's yeah. close enough. Yeah. Yeah. The man, yeah. when you watch Secret Invasion, you know, start watching it. Disney Plus, no. no Marvel series. No. The man is stealing <laughs> the show. <laughs> The man brings that gravity. Yeah. Yes, it's him have a, a screen presence about him. Yes. I, see that. I saw that from the, the one night in Miami. Movie. I said, from me, see that I had faith in this way. Yeah. And it's good to see that the faith has been repaid just based off the chill. Yes. Top of I, the I'm excited, but I won't get too excited. Yeah, not too excited. You know I mean, yeah. trailers can be true. I don't want the accents to let me down. Yeah. <laughs> true, but I'm. I think. I think. I think we can expect good things. I think we can. Yeah. True, true, true. Alrighty, moving on. So Meta has officially debuted its Twitter-like messaging app Threads, which the company is pitching as Instagram's text based conversation app. Mark Zuckerberg, a Zuckerberg or Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, Meta's Zuckerberg. <laughs> Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, Meta's CEO and co-founder, announced the debut of Threads on Wednesday, marking the official release of the social networking giant's new text-focused messaging app. People will be able to follow the same Threads accounts that they follow on Instagram and reply to other public posts in a way akin to how people use Twitter. Zuckerberg said Threads had crossed 5 million signups within the first four hours. Even the Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, has joined. What do we make of this? Are we signing up? Are we not? Me personally, no. Uh, whenever a new social media app comes about, like me just slow on the up. I, I can take some time to determine whether this is a social media app that I want to join because, yeah. to be honest, like the, the, the social media bag of social media apps, then it can become draining at times. Like, even True. just the trailer and the Bob Marley conversation to see the bag of idiots talk about that. Sometimes it can be draining, so draining at times. We just see the bag of food. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm hesitant to join this new thing, but mm-hmm. um, even um, since Elon Musk take over Twitter, it's been a shit storm. Wow. Yeah, it's been a shit storm over there. And it seems like the people have been craving something new. Yeah, yeah. To sort of take its place. Mm-hmm. And if them don't get them shit together, this threads thing look like it can it's take, gonna take over you 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 just quoted the numbers of the new signups and mm-hmm. it seems like people are flocking over to there yes some of it is because of the newness but some of it i think is because i'm kind of fed up with the twitter space right yeah now. um but yeah in regards to the prime minister joining i hated the <laughs> announcement video um <laughs> based on what was said and the caption of it it seemed like he did a big friend which is very was very weird weird too. I just goes to to it speaks towards the breakdown in the communications mm. within the, the current government. Yeah. It just seemed like the communication was something that they had on part. Mm-hmm. And no, it just seemed like there's a disconnect. Yes. The man says I'm looking forward to making new friends and to connecting uh, that that's the caption that I'm like, like making new friends. Something's How about off. crafting a message. <laughs> akin towards i'm looking forward, forward to, to share more to further solve the ills of society and to no share. not shut up the, to share my plans and policies well, with that you as well you another know, like I another do. new app to something where we can exactly. to convey our message of prosperity and and you know m- moving like forward the new, like the father like just join Hi, us i'm, I'm looking, here to I'm make, make new friends, new friends. <laughs> <laughs> that andrew did not say that <laughs> I mean, can there be more tone deaf right now? The communication department of this current you know, government. Yeah. Just goes to speak to us, you know, how there, there's been some sort of decline mm. in how them communicate to the people. As you could see, if you just look at the comments, they're trashing it. Yeah. And then that's paired with also him saying that the Jamaican economy is the best. It right that's ever now, been. yeah. You know, that's it, true. People. Yes, there may be, there may be statistics that speak to that, but mm-hmm. 
in the second part of that message it is where the message really goes so i don't say it's it's about making jamaica feel it as it's like the whole of jamaica don't feel it. and that is and right. that's and always been really my problem to work towards not, yeah not making all of jamaica no, you're, acting, hear, you're talking very long for a quick oh, sorry sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. not making jamaica feel like you are or give off the feeling mm-hmm. but actually making the people yeah feel like i mean that's always been the challenge place. with the government but mm-hmm. um the, the economy is doing well it's just as and i rightly agree and they and they acknowledge that it needs to be felt widespread you know because that's the major complaint however um uh, moving on to threads um you know it's a it's a weird thing because mark zuckerberg and elon must and them are gonna fight i'm wondering if it's like a fight to the death if you you give up twitter or i give up threads that's probably going to be the the the, the, the rewards or the if end goal not, of the fight so crazy. but um yeah it's just interesting to see what i don't know i think there is still going to be a space for it because my concern is like just like with or not concern is not my concern because i don't really use twitter I, I rarely use a Twitter app. I, I have an account is because people send me things that I go on Twitter to see. Mm-hmm. But the um, app itself is not something that I enjoy. And it's been a hellscape prior to Elon taking over. And it's been more of a hellscape since he has taken over. So it's just like, wow. Um, let's see how threads go. And I guess threads is supposed to be the yeah. answer to that. Mm-hmm. But um, if... <laughs> It, to, to Mark Zuckerberg and the metaverse has always been about trying to get advertisers so maybe there's going to be restrictions and not the same restrictions that Twitter ha- or different restrictions that Twitter have Twitter can you can post nudity and porn and pretty much everything there well I'm I'm assuming threads is going to have their limitation if it's if it's joined with the Instagram right. um universe right yeah. no <laughs> no right. no no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. but that the reason why I know that's because a little volume says as long as you post you can keep posting pussy on Twitter yeah it should be so I realize that's it's an app that most of the only fan girls them use for get people into them only fans they right. can't really use the Instagram like that because it can't show nudity yeah so i think that's I the think challenge most of their leads on Twitter. Yeah. right so i think that's the challenge too so if um it may be taking people from it but maybe not it's just what you use the app for but it should be interesting to see how this goes i mean twitter elon say maga sue him say competition is fine but stealing is not and he's issuing a um a lawsuit against mark for stealing his <laughs> secrets <laughs> So let's see how that ends. Yeah, but it's been a hellscape since Twitter. Um, Elon take has taken over. Yeah, the the statistics have shown that. So let's see how it goes. Mm. Oh gosh, I hate you both. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, moving on. So. As per the observer, discovering my potential DMP, Academy in Westgate Hills, Montego Bay has dismissed suggestions that the school known for its eye-catching drive through graduations and celebratory street marches caters only to the elite or those with questionable sources of wealth. A video from the most recent graduation held on June 28th raised a few eyebrows online. It showed a parade of gaily de- decorated high-end cars and a band of smartly clad youngsters led by a police outrider as it made its way along a section of a well-paved road slapped across the video a written message that questioned the source of wealth of parents who can afford to send their children to what appears to be a fancy school but the academy's principal georgette powell is unfazed by the talk i look at these comments and i laugh people are going to talk we have lawyers doctors we have everybody here and we don't know what people doing with their lives it's not our business these kids need a school to go to and we provide that experience she said in an interview with the jamaica observer so you guys think the parade was a bit much um my concern is like i don't understand why people are like if if the talks of like drug drug dealer i think that is what it means like see the under oh montego bay Bay. yeah Mm -hmm. so i I think that's why it became a story because people are alluding to maybe the underbelly of Jam- of Montego Bay elite, the crime in syndicate. Scam I don't know. Chopper. Um, there's their children attend that school, but I'm like, done. There are dons in Jamaica, yes. Dons have children, yes. 
course they're going to go to the best schools like <laughs> if you can afford like no never in my life have i ever seen a school where it's like oh i know about your father you know you can't come in the school anymore no and then don't bump up the entire school <laughs> and you know worry yourself about that so i don't understand why the public is trying to worry itself about that like the police worry itself about that like how are you funding your child's education mm-hmm. and then that would be a then it would be but it, it, i i found the story really absurd ab, um absurd I, I really did i was like why is this a thing why is this like a thing? no principal <laughs> concerns itself with the 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 net worth or the the source of income of any of its parents like oh yeah you have a teacher a doctor like yeah, especially if your parent is a well-known person like mm-hmm. of course you know the person but even the doctors and the lawyers you don't know suppose they are the private doctor of the 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 the, the done like fuck it's still a doctor <laughs> you never know <laughs> like you, you know you're gonna you're gonna look down on the doctor like come on i i don't understand why it's a story please yeah, yeah i don't see that i'm going to be pretty pretty quick with this <laughs> i really don't know this is a story i think as you touched upon is because the whole mobia thing if, if this wasn't moby i don't think people would be questioning this how come people don't question where the parents or who send them kids to aisk i don't see any horrible <laughs> about that well exactly. i think pretty much everybody knows that the it's the it's foreign like it's usually the american the embassy school for yes the so it's far <laughs> right they are the kingston elite yeah. so it's usually P officials ambassador like if you're ambassador or embassy workers if you have your chill so your family here you go to there. there yeah 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 they yeah. they say no that's not the case let like, say everybody come to the school but everybody go to but i mean wasn't i know um the the the, the, the campbells i know they have something to do with it i think they're uh, there's yeah Uda? um sasco so, and i think her kids go, yeah, yeah, yeah. see there yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't i didn't get this for real I didn't yeah, yeah yeah people it's just like, oh it's a bit too much and I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah it's fine okay uh, many people them do them thing pretty much yeah. <laughs> all right so that's it for quick fix thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe like share and leave a comment down below all right that's all i told you so that <laughs> rhyme sun is shining